hello my dear friends welcome back you are watching motion ali 14 channel so as you know i am making passing strategies for the vtu students especially for the math series and other subjects of the mechanical engineering and also i will make uh, different videos for different branches and also i am making videos for problem solving also okay so today in this video i want to discuss some passing hacks uh, for the engineering mathematics 2 which is for the civil engineering branch students so it is subject code is bmat c201 okay <clears throat> so it is for 22 scheme students so let me tell you friends uh, how many modules are the passing modules in this particular subject so let us start without wasting a time so my dear friends first of all you just attempt module 5 here just because there are some numerical techniques in which you have to just put some values over there and you will get answers no differentiation at all so <clears throat> So in this module fifth, you have to cover some portions like uh, Taylor series method and uh, modified Euler's method, Runge Kutta method of fourth order, and Milne's predict predictor and corrector formula. Okay, and I will also make uh, problem solving videos on these particular methods like Taylor series, modified Euler's method. This will this will be the different series of videos over there. So I will make it stay connected. <clears throat> and next one is a. Uh, Adam's bash fourth method which is just for the self study no need to study at all it is also another numerical technique over there you have to just put values so no need to understand this particular method as also it is the numerical technique over there okay so just focus on these particular four parts so that you will easily conquer 20 marks in this particular module these just these 20 marks are just in your pocket okay then uh, module 4 comes up uh, it also contains 20 marks over there you will easily get you can easily score in this uh, particular module 4 also so numerical methods is the chapter name uh, also uh, the concepts are there some numerical techniques numerical methods you can see like uh, regular falsi method which is one of the most important questions as for uh, as far as this model 4 is concerned you have to focus on this particular method next one is newton Raphson method next one is newton's forward and backward difference formula and uh, newton's divide difference formula and lagrange's interpolation uh, formula so these are just the numerical methods over there you have to just rem memorize the formulas and uh, make some differentiation possible in this particular module you have to do some differentiation i know i hope you will be better in the differentiation part over there so it is a very simple simple module over here in this uh, particular case so next one is uh, in other, another chapter of this particular module is simpson's one third rule and three by eighth rule okay next one is trapezoidal rule so if you cover this much portion seven concepts over there you just try three to four problems from each concept so that it will be easy for you to conquer this module also my dear friends you don't have to leave anything from these type of modules otherwise the rest of the modules you can skip some topics which are very difficult over, over there to tackle so but in these two modules you cannot skip uh, any anything okay <clears throat> then module third comes up which is the new module for this uh, particular branch civil branch that is partial differential equation over there so one question is derive one dimensional wave equation it is one of the most important question okay so as far as the m3 is concerned of 2018 scheme it was there actually but this time they have inserted it into the second sum maths so it is uh, always asking the vtu as per as 18 scheme is concerned okay so this time they may also ask uh, actually as per syllabus it is not mentioned over there but uh, if you refer your model question papers it will be definitely over there this this question one dimensional wave equation and one dimensional heat equation okay these two questions you just focus on don't leave it so next part uh, form the partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary constants from equation equations will be given over there suppose polynomial equation will be given any equation will be given over there you have to just form differential equation by elimin eliminating the arbitrary constants okay next concept is uh, form the partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary functions from suppose equation will be given i have taken here z is equal to x of f of 1 x plus y plus f2 x plus y so this is the equation you have to form partial differential equation over there okay so this uh, these four concepts you have to focus and also solve type questions over there suppose do square z by do x square is equal to a, uh, a square z given that x is equal to 0 z is equal to 0 and do z by do x is equal to a sine of y so this much content is enough to conquer this model third my dear friends that is a partial differential partial differential equation okay next 
so next is the module second my dear friends it is the vector calculus uh, so in this uh, particular module you have to just cover the important questions like uh, find the angle between the surfaces equations will be given x square plus y square minus z, z square is equal to 4 and z is equal to x square plus y square minus 13 at points 2 1 2 i have just taken here examples you can just refer your model question paper try some uh, 3 to 4 problems from this concept that is angle between the surfaces uh, equations will be given okay this is most important question so you have to try over there so that uh, it will be easy for you to cover six marks at least or seven marks then next one is uh, f vector is equal to delta of x y cube z square find divergence of f and kernel of f at point one comma minus one comma one it is also a simple concept dear friends so just try and uh, try to uh, what we call find out uh, the divergence and kernel of f over there these are the vector concepts okay next one is find the directional derivative of x square y z cube at 1 1 1 in the direction of i cap plus j cap plus 2 k cap so this is also a simple concept directional derivative you just refer your notes whatever may be available for you so if you find some difficulty also you can just comment down so that i can make separate videos for this also this vector calculus it is according to your own opinion if you uh, find some difficulty uh, surely make the uh, uh, sorry just comment down i can make separate videos okay next one uh, that is the solenoidal and irrotational vector fields uh, you have to just try uh, solenoidal and irrotational problems they will give you suppose the uh, vectors or uh, equations over there you have to just show that it is a solenoidal or irrotational okay so this is enough for the model second my dear friends and next one is integral calculus which is a typical part i think most of the students are struggling with this particular module if you just want to skip this module but uh, try at least one question which is the most important question frequently asking question in the vtu that is relationship between beta and gamma functions okay so it is beta of m comma n is equal to gamma of m into gamma of n upon gamma of m plus n so this relationship you have to just prove over there so this is the beta gamma function it carries seven marks over there this will be definite question over there okay next one is uh, gamma of 1 by 2 is equal to under root of pi so also if you want to do some multiple integration over there so you have to focus on the double integration problems and suppose i have taken here the example evaluate integral of 0 to e 0 to root of a square minus x square root of ax dx dy by changing the order of integration over there and also triple integration is there suppose uh, evaluate triple integral is like integral of 0 uh, to a 0 to a under root of a square minus x square 0 to under root of a square minus x square minus y square into 1 upon under root of a square minus x square minus y square minus z square you have to integrate it uh, with respect to x y and z okay so this is the triple integration so my dear friends uh, just focus on this beta and gamma function uh, if you want to score seven marks at least from this model so, so this is also a, uh, only a passing package my dear friends so uh, the students who want to score in this so they have to go for this uh, double and triple integration part over there so i hope this video is beneficial for you people so make sure you will share it with your batchmates who are finding difficulties in passing this subject so it, they may also avail benefits from these type of videos okay so thanks for watching my videos